Welcome to Hoko Polizzo's Poetry Moment featuring the pomegranate by Ivan Boland. I'm Sarah Luckadoo. Whenever winter shakes itself awake and sheds the first snowflakes, the myth of Persephone comes to mind. Ivan Boland uses this ancient Greek myth to plumb the mysteries of mother-daughter relationships and even throws into her poem a snack for the reader, a pomegranate. But first, the myth. Kidnapped by Hades and imprisoned in hell, Persephone is pursued by her mother who searches ceaselessly until she finally finds her daughter. Though she had tried to refuse, the hungry Persephone has eaten six seeds of the pomegranate Hades has given her. The rules of hell say that if you eat or drink of the underworld's produce, you must remain underground. But Persephone's mother, called Demeter or Ceres, negotiates a kind of joint custody agreement with Hades. For half the year, Persephone emerges from hell to stroll through the fields of flowers with her mom on earth and spend six months as Hades' wife below ground when nature sleeps and the earth is cold. And that Greek myth explains the seasons. But who could blame Persephone? Who could resist the gift of a pomegranate? Assertively red and juicy, almost the antithesis of winter, a pomegranate stores up all the riot of summer into a delicious package. Boland's poem, The Pomegranate, is built on the heartbreaking myth, but branches out into the roles of mothers and daughters. This poem is just to register my surprise at having a child who turned into a teenager, Boland said during the full interview on Hoko Polizzo's The Writing Life. The speaker in Boland's poem enters the myth as a daughter, but when she becomes a mother and loses a young daughter at twilight, her frantic search recalls Ceres' frantic hunt for Persephone. The poem reads, when she came running, I was ready to make any bargain to keep her. Later in the poem, the speaker contemplates her sleeping teenage daughter and how the daughter will enter the adult world, just as her mother did. Boland describes rifts in time that allow a woman to remember what it was like to be both a daughter and a mother, gripped by the ineffable love and fear for a daughter. By the end of the poem, readers understand what the mother has grown to know, that she cannot protect her daughter with bargains or love or even words. And now, The Pomegranate by Ivan Boland. The winter, the pomegranate. The only legend I have ever loved is the story of a daughter lost in hell and found and rescued there. Love and blackmail are the gist of it, Ceres and Persephone the names. And the best thing about the legend is I can enter it anywhere and have. As a child in exile in a city of fogs and strange consonants, I read it first. And at first, I was an exiled child in the crackling dusk of the underworld. The stars blighted. Later, I walked out in a summer twilight, searching for my daughter at bedtime. When she came running, I was ready to make any bargain to keep her. I carried her back past white beams and wasps and honey-scented buddleias. But I was serious then, and I knew winter was in store for every leaf on every tree on that road, was inescapable for each one we passed and for me. It is winter and the stars are hidden. I climb the stairs and stand where I can see my child asleep beside her teen magazines, her can of Coke, her plate of uncut fruit. Pomegranate, how did I forget it? She could have come home and been safe and ended the story and all our heartbroken searching. But she reached out a hand and plucked a pomegranate. She put out her hand and pulled down the French sound for apple and the noise of stone and the proof that even in the place of death, at the heart of legend, in the midst of rocks full of unshed tears, ready to be diamonds, by the time the story was told, a child can be hungry. I could warn her, there is still a chance the rain is cold, the road is flint-colored, the suburb has cars and cable television, 
the veiled stars are above ground. It is another world. But what else can a mother give her daughter but such beautiful rifts in time? If I defer the grief, I will diminish the gift. The legend must be hers as well as mine. She will enter it as I have. She will wake up. She will hold the papery, flushed skin in her hand and to her lips. I will say nothing. Thank you.